In today's video, I'll share some of my favorite overlooked Premiere Pro shortcuts that will seriously speed up your editing workflow. The first shortcut pair is for the effects and effects control panels, which allows me to switch between them two very quickly. I have them assigned to mouse 4 and mouse 5 buttons on the side of my mouse. But if you don't have those, you can also assign them to keys like 1 and 2. Next are the shortcuts for ease in and ease out. You have probably heard me saying ease those keyframes quite a few times already, and doing it manually can take a bit of time for sure. So to speed things up, assign shortcuts for both ease in and ease out to keys like 9 and 0. Placing them next to each other works best because then you can select your keyframes and tap both keys at the same time. Now let's talk about saving time when cutting and trimming. I've covered this in a full cutting tutorial, but as a quick reminder, I use X for add edit, which makes a cut, and Z for ripple delete. Also, let's not forget the default Q and W shortcuts to ripple delete to the left and right of the playhead. The best part is that everything is within reach of your left hand, which makes editing much faster. And if you still end up with gaps, which is completely normal, set up a shortcut like Command Shift C to close all of them at once. The fourth shortcut is for nesting, in my opinion one of the most powerful Premiere Pro features. However, when used often, it can get a bit tedious. For this, I have backslash key set as my nest shortcut since it's conveniently located next to the enter key. This way I can press both keys one after the other instantly. You can also assign it to command shift n or any combination that makes sense to you. The next shortcut is for rendering a specific section of your timeline to preview it without lag. It's especially helpful if you have a lot of heavy effects going on. To select your range, press I for the in point and O for the out point, and then use a shortcut to render that section. Mine is set to command plus enter. Once the render is done, the timeline bar turns green and the video is ready to be watched without any lag. And lastly, here are a couple of extra very useful shortcuts that I use all the time as well. Press A to select everything to the right of the cursor and Shift A to select everything to the left. Then you can press V for the selection tool to move selected clips elsewhere. And to limit your selection to one track, you can also hold Shift. Now if we want to move selected clips vertically, hold Option or Alt on Windows while pressing the up and down arrows. And uh, to link or unlink clips, you can use Command or Control plus L. Of course, there are many other well-known shortcuts like Command or Control plus R to reverse or change the speed of a clip, G to adjust audio gain, and duplicating clips by holding Option or Alt on Windows. But these are pretty common. Either way, I hope you learned something new, and if you would like to speed up your editing workflow even more, then feel free to check out my Premiere Pro Essential presets pack in the description. That's it. Subscribe. Bye.